Welcome to another video and today I'm gonna show you some insane deadlock mechanics. I'm gonna bust some myths, show you some facts, everything you need to know for when you're playing with or against this agent. Keep in mind these mechanics are recorded in the early beta so in the future things might change. But as of now this agent has some very unique things. Big shout out to Arch for helping me with this video and now let's talk about deadlock. When you use your ultimate of course the enemy will get into a cocoon and when it reaches the end point the enemy will die. But what happens if you use your ultimate while Omen is using his ultimate? If you're late then Omen will die instantly. What? Huh? 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 But if you are early, then Omen will teleport away and slowly go towards the end point, but he will get released before he reaches the end, so he is safe. When the enemy Yoru is using his clone and you use your ultimate on that clone, your ulti will actually catch him. Come on Yoru, save your clone, you can do it! It's free! Uh, no, never mind. You can't use the deadlock ultimate through a sage wall. However, if you use the deadlock ultimate and then sage places a wall, the enemy will get into a cocoon and slowly go over the wall. I gotta be honest, it looks pretty funny. When it finally goes over the wall, then it will speed all the way to the end and apparently there's just enough time so the enemy will survive. As we know deadlock C ability makes people crouch and walk slow but it also slows the sofa drone. Yeah maybe you should fly a little higher next time drone. It also slows down the gecko wingman and that just looks very funny. He's trying to run so hard but he can't do anything and of course if the yellow blob is slowed down also the gecko ultimate is slowed down. Just be careful the gecko ulti is still able to jump out of it. Now let's talk about their E ability. It's a strange invisible wall you can place down. It doesn't matter how you place this ability down it will always face exactly the same way. The angle for where you are placing it from doesn't matter, so it's not like a sage wall, but the corners will always go to the outer edges of the map. Of course, you can't walk through this wall, but you can jump over it. With a jet updraft for example, or a sage wall. Useful mechanic for if you want to boost your team over. If you're wondering, you can't jump on your own wall. It would be cool to stand on an invisible wall, but you slide right off. As you probably already know, you can destroy the blue side orbs to destroy a corner, or destroy the middle orb to destroy the whole thing. But what you have to keep in mind is that these things are extremely tanky. To prove it, it will not just take one brimstone ultimate to destroy the thing, it takes two with the molotov, like what the heck. Now it's time for a race, who's faster, brimstone inside the stim beacon, or me without the stim beacon while both getting hit by my C ability. Hey. And what? I do, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're not moving very fast, but the stim beacon does have an effect even though you're in your C ability. Now a crazy but very strange mechanic about this Q ability. This ability you can place down on a wall and it only triggers if the enemy is making sound inside the range. But here's the strange thing, if you place it down and the gecko wingman is running through it, then it will trigger. But apparently if the gecko ultimate is going through it, then it won't trigger. Like what the heck is this? This shark makes a lot of sound, uh, why don't you trigger over there? Guns without a suppressor. No will trigger it of course, but guns with the suppressor like the ghost and phantom no will also trigger it. Ah, Somehow if you're shift walking but using abilities inside the range then it won't trigger. I don't think this is intended though so I think they will fix this bug. Or maybe it is intended and then uh, sorry Rito games. It's a bit of a strange mechanic in my opinion. When you get suppressed by the enemy KO your Q ability will go off and the enemies can walk through it freely. Or of course destroy it if they want to. Your ultimate will pull enemies through your own wall. So no climbing like the sage wall sadly. Your Q ability will detect Reyna while using her dismiss. But in the end it doesn't matter that much because she gets out of it before she gets hit. And if you're wondering, also in her ultimate she will get detected, but she won't get hit because she's fast. Same for Neon by the way, because Neon is so fast she will get detected, but she runs straight through. When you use your C ability on Jet she will be crouched of course, but when she dashes she will dash outside of range. So let Jet be the frontliner when you play against Deadlock. You will be able to stop Neon though, she won't be able to dash out of your C ability. Not this time Neon. If you try your E ability against the enemy sofa drone, it will bounce off the drone. Very random, very useless, but uh, I think it's pretty funny. The enemies won't get stunned by your C ability if they are standing higher than your C ability or when they are standing under your C ability like over here on these boxes. Keep this in mind when you are trying to make lineups for this ability. The Kildra turret will be able to shoot on you through your wall. However, the turret won't be able to see through the blue crystals. So you can kinda hide behind it if you want to. It doesn't matter from how far you are using your ultimate, the timing will always be the same. So if you use your ultimate close to the enemy, it will move slowly towards the end. But if you are using your ultimate very far away, it will go a little bit faster. Also, when you are using your ultimate on a phoenix ultimate, the enemy phoenix will get cocooned, go slowly towards the end, but it will go to a spawn point when the ultimate is over. Omen won't be able to use his shroud steps through this wall.
Oh, oh het werkt niet. Oh, nee, 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 nee. Up. Never mind. Arch was trolling me, so uh, it does work. The Gecko Ultimate won't be able to go through the wall. The Gecko Flash will be able to go through the wall. And the Gecko Wing Wing normally doesn't go through unless it's trying to either plant or defuse the spike. Then it will keep running till the wall breaks. This also means that the Gecko Wing Man will do damage to the wall. Strong little man. Actually, that's a pretty important fact you have to know about Deadlock. Projectiles will go through the wall, no problem at all. Like the Skybird, of course. Things you control yourself won't be able to go through the wall like the sky dog unless you can fly over it like the sofa drone and things that are targeted like the sky ultimate will go through the wall and it will even break the wall over time remember this my friends very important fact for your games when using the viper ultimate at first it did seem like the wall will block the viper ultimate right or is it just me does this have an effect i don't really know but after trying it a few times it didn't get the same result so i think the wall doesn't block the viper ulti would be pretty cool if it did though this one is funny when you kill ko inside this ultimate he will get downed of course and the enemies could revive him. But the cool thing is that you will be able to use your ultimate on the downed KO and he will get into the cocoon and die in the end. Very cool. If you time it right you could use your ultimate on Yoru while he is teleporting and he will get into the cocoon. The funny thing is that he first slowly will go to the spot where he teleported from and then suddenly going very fast to the end point of the ability. Astra X deadlock is very boring. They don't have cool mechanics together sadly. Would be fun if you could pull in the wall but that's not a thing. You won't be able to use your ultimate on Arena while she is in her dismiss. However, However, if you are the Reyna player, don't go out your dismiss too soon. It takes a while before the deadlock ultimate goes away, so if you go out your dismiss too soon, then you will get detected and will get into the cocoon. You can't use the breach abilities on your wall, so it's not like a sage wall sadly. But imagine using his flash on the wall, you basically would flash yourself I think, because it's like see through, but it would have been a cool mechanic. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, feel free to subscribe for more tips and tricks, and I would also really appreciate if you give Arch some support. He makes like big, well edited storyline videos. With amazing animations honestly if you watch one of these videos you will watch everything you could also support historically for stories about history or archmaton for valorant content thank you so much for watching bye bye